Advanced Leak The weather track recognizes that some irrigation systems are designed to use water without running operations through the irrigation controller. So if your system is designed with a hose bib or a quick coupler, these would be great examples of conditions on site that would cause water to run through the irrigation pipes without the controller being turned on. In weather track terms, this is considered a leak condition. With an OptiFlow controller, when you're programming your main line and you come to your flow alert settings, you'll be asked to program your advanced leak alert threshold and your evaluation time. The advanced leak alert is created when an OptiFlow controller measures flow that exceeds both the advanced leak alert threshold and the evaluation time threshold during non-irrigation hours. So when programming the advanced leak alert threshold, you're setting the minimum number of gallons you want your system to become aware of a leak condition. And when programming your evaluation time, you're setting the duration of an allowable leak event. So if you normally run your quick couplers for 20 minutes, you would set your evaluation time to something greater than that, say 30 minutes. And then, if someone plugged in the quick couplers and forgot about them, at 30 minutes, the advanced leak alert would be raised and the master valve would close. To say that a different way, what an advanced leak alert is telling us is, with your OptiFlow controller, when no irrigation was scheduled and no manual irrigation was running, enough water began to run through the system to pass the advanced leak threshold. And then that leak condition lasted long enough to pass the evaluation time, which prompted the advanced leak alert and closed a normally open master valve. And while these kinds of conditions can be caused by hose bibs and quick couplers, they can also be caused by a manual override of the irrigation system, sprinkler techs opening valve boxes and manually override valves by opening the solenoid or the bleed screw. In a more high stake scenario, an advanced leak can also mean a malfunction of your irrigation system. For instance, if a mainline fitting comes loose and starts to leak water, this would be another example of an advanced leak scenario. So when troubleshooting an advanced leak alert, start by eliminating the easy stuff. Talk to your maintenance folks about any use of hose bibs, quick couplers, or manual manipulation of the irrigation system that might have caused this alert. And remind anyone that's managing the system this way to use the master valve override feature that's available from the manual menu at the controller or on WeatherTrack Mobile and when active, would prevent the controller from creating an advanced leak alert. If you determine it wasn't normal usage that caused the advanced leak alert, carefully walk your irrigation system looking for breaks along the pressurized main, or valves that might have come on or stuck on during non-irrigation hours. For more help troubleshooting your advanced leak alert, contact our customer service team.